All right, Shalom. First and foremost, <clears throat> I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kadash. Next up, honor to the others of GFS, a great millstone that rule well and consistently teach on Dantica brothers. Peace of us unto the elect, the Bayasha Dabada, that's the David Shalom, Akim Yahbashim Shai. Rocket them to the elect, all right? So, hey, man, like I say constantly, man, you know, we got to, you know, we got to, we got to, um, because the Lord, he, he's, he's a, we, we're, as we're out there presenting ourselves and making our bodies a living sacrifice, man, the Lord is gathering up the tribes, man, he's gathering us up, man, you know, that great gathering, man, so it's like, we want to be part of that, you know, that, that elect, you know, that, 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 that choice selected few, man, because many are called, but few are chosen, you want to be part of that, <clears throat> That 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 gold tried in the fire, man. That gold in the furnace, man. That, that's where you want to be at, you know. At this point, you know, because the Lord, He's really um trying men out here, you know. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go in the first precept <coughs> that I got New Testament, all right? This is, uh John fifteen and three, because like I said, the Lord is trying people, man. He's, especially men. When it comes to men, He's trying them. Whether it's their heart, meaning their mind, He's trying their their heart. He's trying to works as well. Like what kind of works are you are are you are you putting in? Like are you bringing fruit? You know what what are you doing? You know, but yeah, this is um because we're not just here a place on earth for no reason. You know what I mean? We're here for a reason, man. <clears throat> and as long as you're calling upon the names of the Lord, that's all that matters. Because that's when that trust starts to kick in, man. That that's when that trust starts to kick in more. We start trusting the Lord more. You know, the more you keep calling upon his names, man, and it's just like the Lord is going to start working miracles, man, you know, and then, hey, if you have children, the Lord might even protect your children. So you got to be, um, you got to be thankful and happy within that, man, especially you being that you being a righteous man, you, you, um, you thinking that you thinking things through you, you thinking through your head, look, I'm, I'm, I'm living, I'm, I'm trying to live the best way I can. I'm trying to live righteously. I'm trying to, I'm trying to really live a righteous life. If you're telling yourself that, then that's a good thing, cause the elect, hey, the elect men, they're they're righteous. So, hey, Lord's will, we could be part of that, you know. Say and say if you have children, your children are protected. Why is that? Because you, 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 you most likely a righteous man, you know. Because what I see is that in this in this present evil world, this present life, <laughs> uh, uh, Jake, he might have children, but his children die at a at an early age. That's because his ass is probably wicked. He couldn't even, he don't know, he don't know how to take care of the kids, man. You know, you got these jakes, man. They, they into smoking a lot. They, 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 they you know, they killing themselves, man. But hey, that's why I read here. This is um, John 15 and 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you, right? So this word is going to um cleanse you, man. You know, that word for clean, you see? Strong's G, 2513, Katharas, Katharas. Clean. It says, uh, purified by fire, right? Because, um, Yahweh Shah, he had that, he had the spirit of prophecy, and that's what he could give unto you, man, because he said, greater worse than these shall you do, right? So, hey, he, the Lord, he could give you the gift of prophecy, man. You see, it says, um, free from corrupt desire, from sin and guilt, right? You know? And that there's way more there's this there's, there's hey man. People people go off almost every day, man. They sin every day. And it's not because of women all the time either. There's other things too. You know. It might be it might be it could be of the law. You know, there's something up upon the law. You know, you you probably couldn't keep the Sabbath the right way or something. You know. It might it might be something on that. You don't know how to keep the Sabbath right or something, you know. So we have that, that that that's how you know, man. The law that's how you know we gotta work on ourselves, man. That's what the law is here for, man. To to better ourselves and correct ourselves, man. You can't just be slacking out here and keep making mistakes. Nah, man, you gotta pick up after it, man. You know? But yeah, let me get this right quick. This um So the Lord he 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 uh he 
He he let our enemy bring us into captivity. Well, the Lord's going to do the same thing with these heathens. He's going to bring them. He's going to put them in captivity, man. You know? Oh, yeah, it's a perfect preset, man. Check this out. Old Testament, Hosea. Right quick. All right, okay. Hosea 3 and 5. Check it out. It reads, Afterward shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord, Yahweh, their God, and seek the Lord, Yahweh, their power, and David, their king, and shall fear Yahweh, and shall fear the Lord, Yahweh, and his goodness in the latter days. Look at that, man. In the latter days. Right. See, so we're coming, meaning the end times, man. And you got to measure down the time diligently, man. You got to be on fire for this truth, man. You know, you have to wake up your people, man. You can't just be slacking out here, man. You know, let me see if I can find this as well. This is um, because, hey, the Lord talks, I mean, um, in the scriptures also about, um, say, uh, say, uh, one Lord as well, you know. But yeah, it's Ephesians 4 and 5. It reads, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. You see, so it's just like, look, man, when the two thirds come back through the loins of the elect, man, we're all going to be one. And then we're going to be under a new covenant, you know, and because we're going to have those new bodies. All right. Oh, it's a lock. I'm having my protein right now. But, um, yeah, the point is that we're going to be under those new bodies, man. All right. Once we're, in, you know, I mean, yeah, so lucky we're going to have those new bodies once we're under the new covenant, you understand? And that's going to be the, the that's going to be that that perfection of beauty, man. You know, the per basically the perfection of beauty. You know what I mean? <laughs> me hearing me say that is just like it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful um statement I just made. The perfection of beauty. I like that. <laughs> but hey, man, you know this is this is what is coming for 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 the nation of Israel, man. All right. This Isaiah seventeen and four it reads. In that day it shall come to pass that the glory of Jacob shall be made thin, and the fatness of his flesh shall wax lean. It shall be as when the harvest man gathereth the corn and reapeth the ears with his arm, and it shall be as he that gathereth ears in the valley of Rephaim. Oh yeah, I'll stop at seven. This man, this is this is beautiful, man. It says, yet gleaning grapes shall be left in it, as the shaking of an olive tree, two or three berries in the top of the uppermost bowl, four or five in the outmost fruitful branches thereof, save the Lord God of Israel. At that day shall a man look to his maker, and his eyes shall have respect to the Holy One of Israel. Exactly. So the Holy One of Israel is speaking of Yahweh Bashem Hashem and Yahweh Yahweh So the Lord, we're going to look to the Lord, man, our maker. Yahweh, all right? So come. That's the point. All right, and we got to hearken unto the Lord. This, um, right quick. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here. Second Chronicles uh, 6 and 21. All right. It reads. Hearken therefore unto the supplications of thy servant and of thy people Israel, which they shall make toward this place. Hear thou from thy dwelling place, even from heaven, and when thou harvest, I mean, so lucky, and when thou hearest, forgive. Exactly. So even when you hear a certain brother out, you, you forgive that brother, you know, because he might make be making supplication. He might be, uh, you know, and that that's all going back to the elect because we're, we're in the house of mourning. Even when we're out there in the house of Bowers, man. You know, we're we're constantly complaining, man. Cause it's also about that how to just complain continually, man. You know, so that's the point, you know, the just complain continually, okay? Matter of fact, I'll end it with this. This is Micah five and eight. It reads, And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people, as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who if he go through, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces, and then can deliver. Exactly. So that's the point, you know, our people, we're going to be like lions amongst these people, man. And these people are going to be terrified, okay? So that's the point. 
and that shine and that that uh so like, and that light is gonna be shining upon us, man. As as you know, we see the downfall of our enemies, man. So hey, that's why we say Kwame Asha Allah, man, meaning arise Israel. Or yeah. Or rise Israel, right? But yeah, that's the point. All right. So, you know, Lord to Adamar says I made this lesson edifying. And in closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rokokadash. Next up, honor to the elders of GMS, a great millstone that I rule well and continually teach on dancing of brothers. Peace of us and to the like the Bayashah Dawada, the house of David. Shalom.